Good to go? Good to go. All right, we just gotta take care of the, the wife first. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, babe. Not too much, because you want to keep your steady hand. <laughs> I can always prop up the video, right? That's right. Welcome back. Welcome, friends. Welcome back. Like, welcome, Carter. So, welcome back, everybody. Glad that you could join us. So, um, yeah, we're, we've just been hanging out. It's like a gloomy day here in New York. It's cold. It's windy. It's not really, you know, not that cold. You inviting been to, to go outside. It just yeah, it's just outside. a nasty day. It's just nasty. It's Weird day. It's rainy. So, yeah. what we've been doing is just kind of hanging out. And um, we just started roasting off some squash. So, we're going to make a nice soup, some nice grilled cheese, have a little bit of wine, a little cocktail, right? So, um, I, Melissa had posted some pictures a, a little while ago, uh, just a, about the mise en place that we had. So, um, yeah, so we've roasted off just to be ahead of schedule, so that we're not doing like a 50 minute long video. I'm trying to play with this here. Go ahead. Are you okay? No, I'm just playing with the video. Okay. You're making it look like all funny and shadowed and stuff? Or? No, I, I don't know why it's not letting me see people, but that's okay. Okay. Maybe you had the comments off? Maybe. Okay. She didn't even have a glass of wine, folks. <laughs> oh boy, it's gonna be a long night. What are we playing? We're playing that that escape the room. She's not escaping any room, folks. <laughs> she can't figure this out. So so okay. While she's trying to figure that out, um, just I roasted these off at 425. I, I consolidated them. I had them on two pans. Do not overcrowd the pan uh, because what you will get is you will get steaming rather than roasting. So I had these on two pans. I just consolidated them, just just the one. But um, when you are roasting, make sure that you allow um, plenty of space. So do that like social distancing with your uh, squash and carrots. Okay, squash. <laughs> okay. Um, roast them off at 425 for depending on the size of your oven, or you know, 20 to five to 30 minutes, um, just to achieve some nice, beautiful, you know, roasted color. Right. This is what we want. We want to be able to caramelize and get that roasted flavor out of this squash and the carrots. Yummy. Now, I add uh, carrots inside just for a little bit more of the sweetness when you roast off the carrots. Um, gives a nice little uh, balance to the actual soup, all right? Forgive okay. me for talking really slow. My wife is making funny gestures. I don't me. know what, you no, got I, it? Just, you yeah, I know people are watching, but, oh, there it goes, okay. Have a sip of wine. There it goes, yes, right? I know that, yeah. thing, I think that'll yeah. help. That'll help. That'll definitely help me. So what I've done here is um, we have one large butternut squash. And what I've done is I've peeled it, cubed it, um, and I've actually just removed the seeds. I left some of the, uh, you know, the flesh inside at the very bottom of the squash inside of it. Um, I just kind of removed the seeds out of there. Uh, the carrot I peeled and diced up as well. And I roasted it off with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and black pepper. Yummy. All right. Okay. Um, and then what we'll do is we're going to actually start the process here. So uh, I know that I, we were talking with Brittany. I know that Brittany's actually roasting her squash off now. Yeah, she. Um, had, I don't think she's joined yet. Okay. All right. So what we'll do is... We got Kelly and, and uh, Aunt Madeline and Margaret. Oh, nice. Nice. Hi, guys. Lauren Millar. Oh, nice. Welcome. In Connecticut. Thanks for joining, she's guys. Hi, so everybody. What we'll do is we'll, um, we'll start to brown off the onions. Um, and then while the soup is cooking, we'll actually get into the... Grilled cheese. Okay. All right. So let's. Am I following you? Yeah, sure. Come on on. Okay. All right. So I've already thrown a little, little uh, knob of butter. All right. So we'll let that melt. Um, and then what we're gonna do is, so we have one large uh, butternut squash, one large carrot, uh, and then we take one onion. And the same thing, we're just gonna actually do a half onion and slice it, um, fairly thin, just a rough chop it, whichever. Um, basically, what we want to do is we're gonna melt the butter here. We're going to add the onions and we're actually going to saute, right? Because we, again, we want to achieve a little bit of uh, a little bit of the caramelization on the onions. All right. So we're just going to melt that down, melt the butter. Okay. Um, okay. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could sub this for olive oil, right? If you want to remove some of the, uh, the calories. Okay. Right. But it's cold outside. And again, as I mentioned, we're bulking up, right? So here's our onion. I'm just going to drop that in there. Okay. So you got this on medium? I got it on medium. Medium medium high. Okay. Real time, I'm gonna try to go a little fast, right? 
So you want to cook these for roughly around, you know, five to six minutes. Get soft, right? Anybody little, out there cooking with us a now? A little caramelized, okay? Who's and cooking then, dinner with us tonight? Mmm, smell that butter. All right? Not yet. It smells good. It's yum. Okay? So you don't want the butter to brown. Um, so, you know, I'd recommend keeping it on medium heat. Um, oh, Brittany's on. She's cooking with us. You hear that? All right. You hear that? You hear that? I hear it. I hear it. It's a lovely sound, right? I'd be burning it right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, just give them a mix. Let them sit there. Let them leave them alone. Their rent's not up, so you don't have to move them yet. All right? Their rent isn't up? Their rent is not up, so you don't have to move them yet. Like that, huh? Very nice. You got yes, it? that's wonderful. Okay. Brittany said she's got the veggies roasting. Got them roasting. Good. They're going to roast for how long? Uh, 20, 20 to 30 minutes at 425. She's good? She's good. But uh, she's... You want to show her because she just joined? You want to show her? To... I think she might have seen it. I don't know if okay, she was I'm on. Gonna, I can't. I'm going to because we're going to use that. Okay. All right, Britt. There's just squash and your carrots. So now what we're doing is we're just going to actually saute the, uh, the onions. And then, as I mentioned, we'll get these... Going. I'm gonna break Not them up. tall enough to. Do you look up? No, good. <laughs> you want a stool? Yeah. Yeah, yeah step stool to get over here. Little step stool. Right? Um, so, again, as I mentioned, you can add, you, you can kind of go a couple different ways with this soup. Um, if you don't want the onions, if you want to go all vegetarian, right, you do a veg stock. Right, rather than doing chicken stock. Okay. Right? None of us are vegan here, so you know what? I like to mm -hmm. keep the keep the, uh, the chicken alive. Um, and then <laughs> not really alive, but and then um, yeah. So where you can add cream inside of this recipe, you can actually make it. It'll take it up another level. Uh, I just don't like cream-based soups. So what we'll do is when we're done, um, you can either do a nice little drizzle of um, of heavy cream. Or a nice dollop of sour cream, which that's what we're gonna do because Sophia likes like. yeah. sour cream, sour so we'll do a little dollop of that, uh, and then also garnish with the um, with the grilled cheese. It'll be really really yummy. Okay, All right. So, so as you can see, the onions. You can come back over here, step on your stepping stool. Gotta put my wine down. Put your wine down. Okay. Get okay. a little brown. Get a little brownage. Mm. Okay, you smell that? Smell yes. the butter. Mm -hmm. Butter's getting a little nutty. Yeah, that's what we want. We don't want to go any further than that. So just keep mixing, mixing the onions around. Okay. Cousin Tim is watching. Hi, Tim. Tim, what's up, bud? All right. All right, let that go a little bit. Then we have our tomato paste. So. Once we're happy with the color of our onions mm -hmm. and the texture of them, we want to let them go maybe another minute or so. Um, then what we'll do is we're going to add in our tomato paste and then we're going to actually fry up the tomato paste just a little bit, okay? And then that the tomato paste is going to help us with our texture and it's also going to help out with uh, a little bit of the, uh, the acid inside of the, uh, of the soup as, as well, right? So I'm pretty, I'm, I'm okay with the color here. Okay. okay, so you have your teaspoon of tomato paste. That's gonna be a little tough to yeah, get out of there, huh? <laughs> okay. Smells yummy, everybody. Mm. So we got a teaspoon of tomato paste. Stuff. What? This is good stuff, it yeah. smells good. Okay, so as you can see what we're doing, just gonna fry that up. Okay. Now, if you'd like, you could throw in, you know, some saffron in here. Um, I'm going to go a couple different ways with this, right? Um, if you, want to, you could also add in your celery and stuff like that. But, you know, for this recipe, we just have, we have the uh, butternut squash, the carrots, and the onions, and the tomato paste. So, as you can see from here, quite happy with how that's looking. All right? Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carefully add in all of my roasted carrots and my squash. See, it never sounds like that when I do it. It well, either gets burnt it, but you're, you're, you're or 
Yeah, I am <laughs> always in a rush, or yeah. I walk away from it and see then it's I, burnt. I, yeah, well, listen, remember, <laughs> passion, love. Yeah, yeah. That's what it takes to cook, right? If you don't have that, and you're not cooking with any love, then it's just gonna come out. Come out like gar comes out like garbage. Comes and ends, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, you want to hear this sound? You want to hear it? right now? Everything's working. Everything's coming together. It's 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 uh, it's music, right? Don't mix it around yet, okay? Because what we want to do is the idea is we have roasted squash, we have roasted carrots, we got the sautéed onions. We're, we're we're building layers of flavor right here by sautéing, okay? Um, so give it about a, a minute, okay? And then what you do is you just Right. Uh, Mimi's is watching. Frank Belisi. Who's on. watching? Frank Belisi. Nice. What's up, Frankie boy? All right. Okay. So. All right. And this, again, so many things you could do with this, right? You could make your soups out of this. You could make a nice puree out of this, right? If you were to do a puree, but you just add a little bit less liquid, right? Cook it just okay. a little bit longer, and then you would add to your, your blender puree it you know like we've done in the past we've made some care purees and, mm -hmm. and things like that um which is also great nice so at this point i'm not seasoning anything i, I put salt and pepper on there because you can you you want to season at the very end because why melissa um come on i have absolutely no clue oh, come on you i can, don't you you can't remove salt you can always add it but oh you can't remove right it. okay all right yeah all right so here's here's where we are right now so you have your chicken stock so for this recipe, you have one large squash, one large um, carrot, half of an onion, and a uh, one teaspoon of tomato paste thus far, okay? Okay. Now we're gonna go, we're gonna add in two cups of our chicken stock, all right? Okay. So you hear that sound? That's what we wanna be listening to, guys, when you're cooking. You wanna hear that. You wanna hear that nice saute. You want a nice hot pan, okay? Okay. Now, with this soup... So you didn't really, like, measure that out. No, I know there was two cups in here. Oh, yeah. that's a whole thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, this one here, but I had used, I had used a little bit, so I knew there were 16 ounces in there. Okay. okay. So this is, this is normally 32. Um, so, with this, when you're doing the soup, okay, I want, I want, you to, I want to show people this, because this okay. is very, very important. This soup really doesn't have potatoes. We're not going to thicken it with anything. This is going to be a natural uh, um, soup, right? We are not going to thicken it with any cornstarch, flour, roux, potatoes. You can add potatoes in it if you like. But you see the amount of liquid where it is right now? It mm -hmm. is just covering the actual um, squash. Okay. We're going to let that We're gonna let that go, okay? We're going to bring this up to a um, slow, slow boil because the squash is essentially already cooked. Hi, Mom. My mom's right. watching. Hey, Mom. So we're just going to bring this up slowly, okay? So I have it on medium heat right now. Okay. Right? Don't want it to reduce. Just, just want it to come up to a boil, and then we're just going to put it down to a simmer for about 15, 20 minutes. So the onions... Oh, Brittany's and... right with us. All good, right. good, good, good. All right. Is anybody else cooking with us with doing the soup? I know Brittany is. Okay. Mr. Capozzi's back on. All right. So Future. now, at this time, remember, like I said, I don't want to see anything. Okay. But right now, what you could do is, you know, just give it a little taste. Make sure that you can, your, your squash is, um, you know, you'll be able to taste the sweetness, right? Okay. You That's like? Come out good. Yes. You can get the roasted flavor. All right. We're going to bring this up to a boil. Now, in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to switch back over and we're actually going to start uh, our... Um, grilled cheese sandwich okay all right so if you have a non-stick pan preferable if you have a cast iron if you have whatever it is that you have if you have a cast iron put it on low now so it can actually start to heat up mm. uh this is just a non-stick so we're just going to walk over i got this one at marshall's before yeah. the quarantine i really like this pan is this yes. on who no, makes not, this one not on i don't know who master class it's just so pretty and actually damon liked it when i brought it home which was amazing because yeah. usually he has something to say about it I try. I always, I, I, the only thing that I say, just so it's on I the tried. record, I just tell my wife, thank you, and you <laughs> yeah. are the best. Yeah. You're beautiful and you're the best. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's what comes out of my mouth. All right, so. Um, you too, Lauren. Be well. Be safe. Uh, uh, the, um, all right, so country bread, Pullman, sourdough, whole wheat, whatever it is that you have, all right? 
So we have our two slices, okay, of our country country loaf bread. And what we're gonna do here is we actually have our mayonnaise, all right? And you have your butter. Then we have our pre-sliced American cheese and Munster cheese, all right? So for the mayonnaise here, what we'll do is we're just gonna do one tablespoon, so just a half of the- uh, Okay. Oh, jeez, look what I just did. <gasps> mm. Slip there. You know what's funny to me is that I never knew how to make a grilled cheese. Like whenever your mom's here, she has to make the grilled cheese. Yeah. Because I definitely did not you didn't, you didn't grow, grow up, up eating, eating grilled, grilled cheese? cheese. Absolutely not. Really? No. At my house, we had like eggplant parmesan and, uh, you know, like in the refrigerator, like all the time. Yeah. Chicken cutlet yeah. parm, you know. Mm, chicken cutlet. We didn't, I didn't grow up eating grilled cheese, so. Yeah. I never, literally never knew how to make it. Huh, interesting. I don't even think I really still, I still really well, don't know how to make it. Today you're going to get a crash course. Yes, I right? am. Um, so what we'll do is, I, I got mayonnaise all over this. So we're going to do, right, one tablespoon, right, half and half on each. And we're just going to spread that on there. Okay. You know, make sure you get all areas. The mayonnaise is actually going to help us when we're actually um, cooking it. It's gonna ensure that we get that nice golden brown, right, on top of the butter. Oh, it's so good. Okay. All right, okay. So make sure you get that, spread that all over. Some people will use butter, we're using mayonnaise. Okay, so at this point what you'll do is you'll actually take a little, a little knob of butter. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you need like the, uh, the stove on or something? Oh, wait about. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on, turn your, turn your skillet on, put it on medium, okay? Because you don't want to burn it, okay? We're gonna let that sit and hang out, right? You see it? Yeah, my pasta vazul. I'm pretty sure you spelled that wrong too. Pasta fagiol. Maybe it's not spelled wrong. I don't know. Pasta fagiol. It's 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 spelled how it sounds, right? Fagiol. F a g i o l. Hmm. Really? Fagiol. Yes. I think it's an E at the end. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is, it's very important to see the mayonnaise, mm -hmm. okay? So we're gonna put this side down, okay? So you have your butter melting. We're gonna actually put the, the mayonnaise side down. Uh, who's this? Come over here. Just take a look at that. Felipe. In, yes, that's yes. You're one of your friends. Fel Fel Felipe, yeah, Felipe was, uh, he was the executive chef uh, down in Miami for flying food. Uh, chef, I'm just using regular country loaf bread. Okay. Right. You could use white bread. You could use sourdough. This one was just, you know what? We just had access to it. And it we looked, had it. Looked pretty nice, huh? We had it here in quarantine. One less thing yeah. we needed to buy. Yeah, one less thing we needed <laughs> to buy, right? All right. So what we'll do is our butter's melted. Should I be over there now? Yeah. Come on over. Come on over. Okay. okay. So, so your, you just have mayo on that bread. Your mayonnaise okay. side. You want to invert and make sure you put mayonnaise that down. Mayonnaise right on top of the, the butter. butter. Okay. okay. Medium heat. All right. Okay. Give your sauce a stir. Come over here. Look at this sauce. I mean the uh, soup. The soup, all right. Starting to bubble mm -hmm. a little bit. Looking good, huh? Okay. But now you brought it up to high. So because that you we're, because bring it to I just want to be able to show everybody, so I'm kind of going a little okay. bit faster than normal. Okay. Right? Um, but, but would it come to carrots, a boil on medium? It would. would it? But it would? for oh. time's sake, I'm just trying to, because I want to okay. be able to cook the, I want to be able to cook the, uh, the grilled cheese, and I want to be able to blitz this and blend it okay. before we end. Right? Yes, right. Okay. So cooking show, right? So we want to. Yeah. Real time. Keep up. All right. The speed here. Okay. So while that's browning, what we're doing. All right. Is you're moving a little you... too much for me here. I don't know where to go with you're this. You're good. You're, you're perfect. Stay where you are. <laughs> we need to get you a hat where yeah. you can have like the wine here, so you can just sit. Yes, that that's would a good be good. Yes, right? definitely. Okay. So no wrong or reason for your cheese now that you're you're you just lay this down. Okay. So you don't butter both sides of the bread. I did. I, I, no, I, like I did. the other side of that bread. Oh. See, I don't know what I'm doing. I can't this even is, make this a real cheese. Enough. So, I, I, again, cheese-wise, don't really worry about Thank God I married you. you go, I know, I know. <laughs> and thank God I married you, right? For your beauty and your wit. Now, cheese-wise, mm -hmm. you could go cheddar. You could do brie. You could do manchego. Mm. You could do... We haven't tried the manchego on right, there yet. We, I love manchego. That I would just, be I just chose the monster and the cheddar because the kids are okay with that, right? We, you we think. Do, we never know. Right. You know, every you could, day is different when could, you have children. I know, I know. Could be... Because, they could love it one day and then right, hate it. <laughs> yeah. 
right? So, um, yeah, what we'll do is once you have that on it, so cheese wise, just put four nice slices of cheese, right? Whichever cheese your heart desires. Oh, this, bro, the wine is good. We got a Vela Pocella here going while my husband is cooking us dinner. So the wine is good. Right? Thank you. So I just put the other piece of uh, bread on top. Okay. And what we'll do is just give it a little, a little push. Okay. We're gonna let okay. that go. We're gonna let that go for like another another minute or so. Okay. Now I have it on medium right now. Can I have my wine over there? Yeah, sure. So I just want to move and shake the camera a little more. Thank yeah, you. You're doing great. Thank you. Thank you. You're doing great. Okay. Okay. Hear that soup. Now, while this is going, just make sure it's not sticking on the bottom. Can I show them again? Yeah. Let's see. Got a nice boil here. Okay. All right. Now, anytime you're making soup, whatever it is, you want to really ensure that whatever you're cooking, whatever vegetables, whatever's inside, that it is cooked 100% with ease, right? Because if it's still is left a little chunky, a little, little hard, when you go to blend it, it may not blend smooth all the way. Okay. All right? So this is actually good. We're gonna let it go another minute. We're gonna put that little cheese. So let's see, let's let's have a peek. So as we've been saying through look at that, look most, at that just oh, yet. Look at that. See, yeah, it's getting nice and not, brown. Not, not quite not, there not yet, right? Want. Not okay. what we want. So do you ever like add more butter? Yeah, you can add a lot more butter. Mm. Trying to be conservative here, though. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, but you can. So what we're gonna do is once we actually flip it over and we're happy with the actual the color of the uh, of the bread, mm -hmm. and as you can see, what I did, I just lightly pressed it down a little bit. Okay, that's just. And over know. here is your. This is the mayonnaise Mayo side, side, man, mayonnaise side again up, yes. Okay. Because remember, like I said, we, flip it we, again. Want okay. that, we want that to, to, to actually help us gotcha. get our golden color. Is this okay over here? It's like a... Oh, yeah. All yeah. right. It's perfect. It's good, guys. It smells Sounds good over good, here. Looks good. Smells good. So as, we've, as this cooks a little bit, as we've been saying to everybody watching our videos, um, when we've been doing our videos, if we find out that a friend of ours, unfortunately, was diagnosed with... Um, COVID, which, you know, we've had a couple, or we have friends that work for 911 or our nurses, doctors, um, you know, police officers, anybody we can think of that is helping everybody out in this time. We've been delivering them a meal or, you know, banana bread, whatever we're making, right. we kind of double up on and deliver it to them as a thanks. Because, you know, I know being a mother, if I was doing all that and then coming home to my kids at the same time, it would be a nice stress relief to just have dinner made or a portion of dinner made even. Right. So if you guys can do that, you have the means we definitely you... suggest it if you have the means to do so. Um, this one I think we're going to be doing uh, a duplicate batch and bringing it over to our, our good friends, the Christie's. Kathleen has been working as a nurse in the hospital here in Long Island. And we truly appreciate everything she's doing, putting herself in harm's way to yeah. keep all of the people in the hospital safe and all of us safe here. So if you guys can do all that, heroes. it just, you know, we're all better together if we can all team up and uh, right. show our appreciation to them. So That's hopefully right. they like butternut squash yes. soup. Yes, yes. <laughs> Or the kids will at least be able to try it. Right. Okay. So, no, you're absolutely right, babe. It's, 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 it's what we can do, right? Whatever you can do to help out. Whatever we can do, yeah. So, while you were talking, I don't know, um, I just, what I did was beautiful, nice. Look at that, look at that beautiful color. Beautiful, perfect. Beautiful, right? Wonderful. So, it's all, all even around. Nice and crispy. Yep. So, see what I'm doing here? Mm -hmm. Just give a little press. Okay. Oh, Taylor, we miss you too. Hopefully, that, oh, you guys yeah, are doing nice. good. Hi, Taylor. Taylor's on. Okay. So give that a little mix. Just make sure you get all the butter. Mm -hmm. Can I eat this now? Do we really have to around? wait for the kids to no, eat dinner? of course not. <laughs> you can eat it now. Okay, so same thing. Look at the cheese. Cheese is starting to get melty. Nice. That's so what we want, right? Okay. Munster and cheddar. Munster and cheddar. Yummy. But again, you can do whatever you like. You can throw some brie in here. Some See, this one I really bear. like because it's like on white bread. Mm. Not your... Uh, your good whole wheat that you love no, to whole, have because you're so healthy. It? The, the, the six oh, grain? it's it's twelve so, grain oh, whole so wheat. So good. It's like eating rocks. Oh, I love it. So good. <laughs> Texture. Not for me. Not Damon's like, the healthy one in it's the not house. Like eating rocks. 
Okay. Listen, we gotta be very careful with how we uh, how we consume. How much calories. we bulk up for summer mm, through yeah. our quarantine. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Not yet. More color. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, How's our soup out. doing? Soup is doing perfect. Soup's mm, doing great. Right? Need that smell of vision again. Mm. It smells good. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Check my carrots. Does anybody out there have a, a Vitamix or a, bl- a hand blender? Just do a regular blender. You can use a hand blender. You can use your Vitamix. You can use a regular blender, right? Yeah, that's that's interesting when he does this because I don't know. Um, what? I never knew about like making soups, and when you said you can't, you know, make it, you can't turn it on when it's hot, or else it'll. You gotta you gotta lift it up. You gotta lift the top up. He said. Yeah, you just, you, you don't want to. You don't want to conceal everything in here because once you turn it on, it explodes. So you put your hot soup in, you just lift it up, and then you cover it up or you open up. My mom said I had grilled cheese when I was little, See? but it was Thank Italian bread and mozzarella See? in a pan. A little bit of soppressato on top. Yeah. Sure, why not? Okay. It was the a Italian fruit, grilled right? cheese. And You're Italian right, mom. Cheese. I did have grilled cheese when I was young. Fontina would be nice too, a nice yes. Fontina mm-hmm. one. See? Okay. Look at that. Oh, it's getting so good. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Then we're going to do is we're going to let that go. Um, and then um, you can use either salted or unsalted butter, okay, on here. Okay. On the recipe, I put, when you lay your cheese down, a little black pepper. I didn't put it on here because I wasn't sure if the kids were going to eat it. But okay. But I suggest a little black pepper would go really, Inside really nice. Inside of there, okay. Yeah, it would go really, really Sounds nice. Sounds good. Inside there. So we'll give this another minute, okay? Mm-hmm. Cheese is melted. I'm happy with... Cheers, guys. Anybody day drinking with me? I am. Of course. It's okay. I will be day in a little drinking. Bit. Day Once drinking every day. Okay. All right. So let's go. Check this. You just doing like what are you doing? You pushing on it to see I how tender see they my are? Carrots. Like I just I just want to see the carrots. That's that's a squash is cooked. I you just want to explain to them what you're doing. I just maybe? want to see the carrots. So but on that's here. Hot. Damon has like rubber hands so, from being a chef. So um. So just, don't, I just want to show. Don't um, put your hands in okay, your so hot food. To know that it's ready. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. Just because I had to put a little bit effort on. Just a little maybe, pressure. Just a, no, another minute. You or want so. a little more. I just, okay. want, I just want the carrots to, to cook. Now, when we're blending the soup, if we see that the soup is a little too thick, mm-hmm. you can always add a little bit of stock. Okay. If you're going to cook chicken. with cream, add the cream at the very end. All right. Um... I would, I would prefer if you would blend it first, then you add your cream. Okay. Okay, and then maybe blend it for like 10 seconds. Because a lot of times if you buy like the wrong heavy cream, you could actually blend it too much, and then you'll blend it, you'll get butter. The cream will actually blend and whip so much. Oh. So you know what, you know, you've seen it a couple of times when you make butter, you whip uh, the uh, whipped cream. You've made butter. And yeah, and then what happens Oh yeah, is when that, you make whipped cream. Yeah, so too, if you okay. take the whipped yeah. cream too far, mm-hmm. you can actually get butter. Yeah. Okay. So we just got want to be cognizant. So always add in the cream at the very end, unless you know the recipe calls for like you know cream of whatever, butter on squash or whatever. Blend it, add your cream, blend it for like about ten seconds, shut it down, done. All right. Okay. Okay. So our grilled cheese is done. I'm gonna just cut the fire. Let's just double check underneath. Make sure she's perfect. Ooh, look at that. That is beautiful. Spot on, huh? Beautiful. All right. Okay. Okay, so we will. Mine would be burnt. Let's put this over here. To... Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's check this bad boy out. Okay, so you have your grilled cheese. Okay, you want to give it a taste test? Sure. I think it's grilled very cheese hot. goes very well with wine. So let it sit a minute. I want to taste it. You want to taste it, okay. I'm hungry. It's hot though. Careful. Careful, careful. Ooh, cheesy. Oh my gosh. Very cheesy. Is that a good mix? Mm. Delish? Yeah. Yummy? Yeah, mm. you're making me hungry. Let okay. that sit a little. I'm going to have... Mm-hmm. Okay. It's ready to go. It's not too hot? Uh-uh. It's ready to go. 
Perfect. Okay. Okay, Britt. How we doing, Britt? You still with me or what? Brittany said she grew up putting an onion inside the grilled cheese. Hmm. Ooh, you could do that too, huh? Caramelize it. That would be nice, huh? Mm. What do you think? Very good. Isn't that yummy? That's what? a good mix of the cheese. Mm. I like it. Okay, so we're ready to go with our, our soup, okay? So with a ladle, be very careful. Don't burn yourself. You might need to do this in two batches. I'm gonna see, maybe we might be able to get it all in one. Okay, turn the stove off. Is it on? Yep. Yep, we're gonna make it. You just dump the rest? Yep. Yummy, okay. yummy. Smells wonderful, Brittany said. It does. Good stuff. Smell vision works great, right? <laughs> okay. Just make sure you get make sure you get everything. Okay. Alright. Go over to our blender. Don't do what Melissa did. She would just turn it on. Okay. No, oh, it's not that bad. I'm not that bad. Well, right maybe. Up. Okay. Guys, remember, if you have any suggestions for Damon, for what you want to see made, please let us know. Yes. yes. Give you a little lesson. All right. Um, if you are starting out with your blender, start it off as, as, as low as possible, okay? Don't go high with it. Start it off low. All right. If you have variable speed, start it off on one, okay? Okay. So we're just going to... Okay. Right. Little by little, right? Mm-hmm. Can you see inside there? Yeah. Okay. We're just we're just going through. Lift it up, double check, we're good. Okay, so now. Raising it up a bit, slowly. Is yep. it still moving? Okay, so, right? Mm. Okay. As, Whoa. That's okay. So as I mentioned earlier, so because of, with the reduction, because we cooked a little bit higher, I'm gonna add just a touch more uh, chicken stock in there. Okay. You gonna grab that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna smell this. Yummy. It's delicious. It smells great, right? Yes. So I like my soup a little bit more creamy. Damon really doesn't, but that's why we add the sour cream at the end. Yeah. Just a dollop of it right in it, and I'll mix it up, and <clears throat> that'll give me my creaminess that I need, that I like. I don't need it. just like it. Hmm. Can't open it? Mm -hmm. Challenging? Need my help? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. What is going on? Is it turning? Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. At the Kessler <laughs> kitchen, you can't open the chicken stock. Great. We'll be back in a little bit. Technical difficulties. Damon is going, hi, Dennis. Was All right, he's coming back. <laughs> that was weird. Didn't want to open. But I didn't hear it snap either. I'm thinking something's up with that. This, that is, makes this is a manufacturer defect. Yeah. For sure. Look at see. Busted. All right, so I'm gonna add about a half a cup. And that depends on how thick you want it, how much, because yes. everybody's gonna have everybody, a little bit every, of a different every, size squash right. and stuff, right? Correct. Okay. All right, so same thing, I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna start it off on low again. Dennis okay. wants some extra protein in that. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Throwing some, uh, some seafood in there, some shrimp. Ew, nasty. All right, so, it up. Well, 
<laughs> Doesn't even look like it's moving. What's moving? Like totally stuck. Okay, so roughly, if you can, blend it for about uh, maybe a minute and a half, right? Get it nice and smooth. Okay. Don't want it that thick, nope. so we're adding more again. Yep. Okay. It's. Moving. It's what? Yeah, Dennis, it's moving. I know. I'm moving. I'm not a good uh, filmer. Sorry. I said I had too much wine. Too much. A you lot of wine. You said. Didn't have much, huh? All right. So we just mm -hmm. added. Added a cup. So one more time. Will it thicken it up the more you no? Okay. Just want to incorporate it. Okay. That's it. Done. Okay. Careful when you're doing it. So now two things, since your soup is already smooth, what you can do is just give your if you're gonna serve it right away, serve it in your in your uh, in your pan that you had already. Since we're not gonna be serving it right away, we're gonna be holding it. Okay. Need your spoon? Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. So. Everything out, all that goodness. Okay. Like this. And I'll show you the consistency. Now, if your soup was too loose, you could always add in. You could always add in a little bit. Um, uh, excuse me, reduce it just a little bit more. Okay. If it was too loose, you could just turn the stove on and then you would just, you know, monitor it a little bit, but you would just reduce it just a little bit. So I just put a little bit more chicken stock in it just to get some of the... And that's it. Extra deliciousness out. And I'll show you in one minute. Hold on. Okay. Here's where we check for our seasoning. Okay. Oh, yeah, because you didn't put anything in there yet. No, I did not season like, it yet. Yeah. Some mix. Looks mm. yummy. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that consistency, see? Perfect. Why right, it's so important, make sure that when you're blending it, make sure you blend it properly. Now, if you have a hand mixer, right, um, you would just do it in the same inside here. Right inside the yeah, pot. Yeah, if you had okay. just, you would do it right inside the pot. Now. So the, one of those emulsion blenders you're emulsion, talking about? Yeah, immersion blender. Okay, immersion? Yeah. Emulsion. So if you need a just stick blender, immersion blender, Okay. Yeah. One of these, just a, just a stick blender. Yep. That's okay. it. Okay. Cool. And that works. I just like the Vitamix, just because you know <clears throat> when it blends, it, it blends the soups so really, smooth. really well together. Yeah. Almost aerates in as well, right? So look at. So here's consistency wise. Check this out. Look at that. Can you see that? Perfect. Yeah, I can see. It. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. So for the recipe, guys, I'll adjust on here. But let's just be uh, a safe. We'll add another cup of chicken stock uh, when you're blending. If, you're, if your soup is not blending, 
add some chicken stock. So just add it, get a cup of chicken stock ready on the side, okay? Because you're gonna need to do it now. Brittany said the hand mixer is too messy. She's switching to the bullet. To the bullet, to okay. The bullet. That's fine, that'll That's work, fine. yeah. Okay, so I wanna check first okay. and check my, my, uh, my soup. And then at that point in time, I'll be able to gauge how much salt and pepper if you'd like. Good. That's yummy. Yummy. Right? Okay, pinch, I'm gonna just prep. Whoop. Pinch of salt. I'm gonna prep you up right here for a Perfect. minute. And I'll be right back. Okay. I think they can see it. And that is it, guys. That is the soup. So, any questions, comments? Okay, we have our soup, we have our grilled cheese. I'm gonna. That's what you learned almost done. So, if you're almost done. Yep, that's it. I'll just hang out. Right, so look at that. Beautiful. Okay. So you can, you can actually keep the soup on, like I said, warm. Oops, sorry. We're at 430, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut the soup off. Okay. And we'll serve it, you know, later on, obviously when we're, when we're doing dinner, it's a little too, we're not ready for I'm the hungry, early though. bird yet. Well, we can finish we some can of the We can do the cheese. early bird. Okay. Soup, so if you if you are gonna hold it, just, um. Cover it up. Happy days. Yes. All right, and then that is, we will show a plated version of this that is it, in folks. a little bit. And we hope you enjoyed it and hope yeah. you enjoy your soup. And we'll be uh, delivering some hold, portions hold. of this to I the Christie household the tomorrow. Cheese. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think about the grilled cheese. All right. And um, send us any suggestions on what you want made. I know I have a list of things I want Damon to make me. So we could work on those. But we'd like to hear from everybody else. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And again, everybody stay safe. Stay Thank safe. You. Thank all you right. to all our for everybody doing, doing nurses, work doctors. Continue to just be safe out there. That's police it. officers, everyone still working out there. Okay, be safe. Stay right, healthy. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.